Hi, I'm Andy Ferguson, Health and Fitness Manager and Fitness Class Instructor at Active Stirling. Thanks for joining me for another fitness class as part of Active Stirling's Keep Well at Home, Stay Active campaign. So this is going to be a class involving bodyweight exercises. As always with exercise, if there's any injuries, illnesses or conditions that you have that might be worsened by doing exercise or by certain exercises, within this class replace the exercises you can't do with ones that you're comfortable or capable of doing. Or we're going to do 10 exercises, you can even pull out the exercises that you're unable to do and then just do 8 exercises, 7 exercises, 6 exercises, whatever that might be. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 10 exercises, 10 repetitions of each one back to back. That'll be one round and I'll mean you've done 100 repetitions. What we're looking to do is as many rounds as you can of that. If you do it 5 times for example, you'll have done 500 repetitions. If you do it 10 times, you'll have done 1000 repetitions. Our aim is to do a thousand reps if we can. If not, if you find you can maybe only do four or five rounds, then what to do is do this exercise uh, class again in a week or a couple of weeks and look to do an additional round and then build your way up to the thousand reps. So what we're going to do first of all is a warm up, which I'll do with you just now. We're then going to go into the class and I'll demonstrate the exercise. We're then going to do 10 repetitions of it. Like I said, that'll be one round, which we'll film here. I'll then stop and you can choose to carry on doing your additional rounds. You can either rewind this and watch me do it again, or if you've, if you've had enough of me, you can turn me off, put some music on and go through the rounds yourself. If you're gonna do it that way, it might be worth pausing once we've done the 10 exercises, writing them down so you know what ones we're doing and in what order we're gonna do them in. So before we get into the class itself, we're gonna do a warm up to get the heart rate uh, raised and to get the blood flowing around the body. So for that warm up, we're going to do three exercises, we're going to do five reps of them, and we're going to do it three times round. Okay, so the exercises that we're going to do, first of all, press-ups. So for that, feet shoulder width apart or slightly narrower, hands underneath the shoulders, and we're going to go through five press-ups, two seconds down, two seconds up. Your option for this, if you struggle to do full body ones, is come onto the knees, lift the toes, and go through your five reps from there. Okay, so we're going to do five reps. Once you've done your five, we're going to go straight into thrusters. So for that, again, you're in the press-up position. Your feet are just coming in and out. So there's two, three, four, five. After the fifth one, we're going to go into five bodyweight squats. So that's one round. We're going to do two more. So again, we're back into our press-ups on the toes or the knees. And our thrusters. Your option for this, if you don't like impact, is just to um, touch one foot in, touch the other one in, and that'll be one rep. But as much as you can, go through the thrusters. And our squats. And then in our third round, okay, our press ups. Thrusters. And squats. Okay, that should be the heart rate raised. Take an extra couple of seconds just now to have a quick stretch and loosen off any muscles. We're going to start in 30 seconds. 10 exercises, 10 reps back to back. 20 seconds to go. So our first exercise is going to be bodyweight squats, which we've just done. To make that slightly harder if you want, we can do squat jumps. So 10 repetitions, bodyweight squats or squat jumps. Let's go. For the squat jumps, wait for the heels. It's cushion the landing and up from there. Okay, so we're going to go through 10 of them in your own time. Good, once we've done that, we're straight into 10 press-ups again, similar to what we've just done. So either on the toes or the knees, go through your 10 press-ups. Be sure to pace them, two seconds down, two seconds up. So let's go through 10 of them. Good, we're then into top jumps. So we've got 10 of them. So for that, drive the knees up, one, 
Good, you're gonna do 10. Our next exercise is elbow to knee. You're gonna do 10 each side, so 20 in total. Right knee to left elbow, and back two. Okay, so like I say, right to left, left to right, that'll be one rep. So you're gonna do 20 in total, okay? Once you've done them, we're into burpees. So for that, hands underneath the shoulders, similar to a thruster, jump the feet out, in, and into a jump. Your option for this one, you can step the feet out, step them in, and come upright, or you can even jump them out, jump them in, and come upright. So we're gonna go through 10 of them. Once you've done your 10 burpees, we're into 10 crunches. So for that, slight bend on the knee, uh, resting on your heels. Hands can be across the body or at the side of the head. We're going to go through 10 crunches. So in your own time, we're going to go 10 of them. Once you've done your crunches, we're straight into leg raises. So hands can be beside the body or underneath the lower back. Coming up for a count of one. Down for a count of three to just off the floor. So up for one, down for three. Once you've done your leg raises, it's going to be shoulder taps. So again, we're going to do 10 each side or 20 in total. So for that, we're in a press up position. And similar to our mountain climbers, keeping our body nice and straight, right hand's going to touch the left shoulder and left to right. So avoid your body swinging when you're doing this. Stay as slow and controlled as you can. Once you've done 20 of them, 10 each side, we're going to come into toe taps. So for that, you're going to come from the press-up position onto the uh, palms and forearms, raise a foot and tap. Alternate foot and tap. So again, it'll be 10 each side, 20 in total. Good, and once you've done that, the last of the 10 exercises is going to be lunges. So again, we're going to go 10 each side, 20 in total. So from there, step it out. Big step. Back knee comes to the floor. Front knee bends. Step it in. Alternative leg out. Back knee down. Step it in. Your option, if you want, is to come from lunging with one leg, into a jump, and into the other. We're now going to rest for 30 seconds. That's one round. Like I say, from there it's up to you to push on to however many rounds you feel comfortable doing. Our aim is to get 10 rounds, meaning you'll have done a thousand repetitions. Once you've completed however many rounds you feel comfortable doing, take a wee minute, let the heart rate uh, drop. A wee walk around the house, do some stretches, take on plenty of fluid. Ways to adapt this, like I say, instead of doing 10 exercises, you can shorten it and do eight, seven, six, or you can rest for longer between full rounds, or you can take 30 second rest between each of the 10 exercises. So there's a lot of ways you can adapt this and progress it to watch your fitness grow over the next few weeks. So thank you very much for watching and taking part. Remember, keep active at home, stay well, keep checking active still in uh, social media channels for more classes, and we'll hopefully see you soon.